ADS coils is, what's it and how to use it. These are the modeling steps for using uh, coils. Oftentimes foundry specific PDKs may not have sufficient for a design models. So you can synthesize models for a particular foundry process using coils. You can create inductors, balance transformers, transmission lines. The first step is adding a base PDK to the workspace. In this case, we are adding the generic PDK which is shipped with ADS. Next step is to enable coils. Go to, to Tools, App Manager, and search for coils and turn it on. Once that's added, you will see a coils menu on the ADS main window. It also creates a user underscore input.ael file, and we'll talk about what it is in the next few slides. User and the input.ael file is used to configure the substrate layers, the metals, and the VRs between the different metals. The VR layer list has a list of all the, the metals. Here's the substrate for the generic PDK. And this uh, user underscore input.al corresponds to that uh, substrate stack up. So there's a VR1 which exists between metal 2 and metal 1. And that's defined here. The next list has a VR dimension list which specifies all the VRs and the layers, the size, the space, and the enclosure. So this file has to be configured before using coils for your particular PDK. So what are some of the features? You can create inductors, transmission lines, you can generate models, synthesize, and then find inductors. So these are some of the geometries with their parameters, the single-ended, differential inductors, balance, and solenoid. So let's demo how to use uh, inductor PCL creation. So first, uh, click on Create Inductor from the Coils menu. Specify what type of inductor it is. In this case, we'll choose single-ended. And whether it's square or diagonal, we're going to choose square. Enter a cell name for the inductor. In this case, we are going to define an inductor between layers M5 and M6, and it's a square inductor. So we enter the name of that cell. <coughs> Next, we enter the dimensions, the line width, spacing, number of turns, and primary turns, and so on. We're going to select the layers. metal 6 and in the underpass layer metal 5 specify the underpass width and the orientation and you can click the preview button and this automatically generates a layout for the inductor based on the parameters that you entered and all the values here are parameterized the next step is to create the uh, EM model generation. I click on create P-cell. It creates the layout and the EM setup for that particular inductor. 
coil sys generate model so we're going to generate a model for the m phi m6 square inductor this dialog specify there's no model click generate model and then it uh, pops up the advanced model composer so in the advanced model composer you can specify different parameters and the range of parameters that you want to sweep in this particular case we're sweeping width from 5 to 15 microns and space again between 5 and 7 in steps of 1 micron number of turns we're going to use a discrete list so 3 4 and 5 and then the underpass width and specify this click the OK button and this launches the advanced model composer and this is used to generate the EM model click OK and this launches the advanced model composer and then runs all the different simulations in this case we're using momentum and you can see this uh, spawning multiple momentum simulations and it's running them you can check the status of the advanced model composer click refresh and you can see it's uh, so far done 20 sets of parameters have been EM simulated so once the model is generated uh, next step is to create the packaging so after some time we notice that all the models have been uh, generated there are 81 models that were generated next we are going to package this model into a library which can be shared with um, other users so type the name of the library the library was successfully created in that particular workspace next we can synthesize and find inductors of a particular value so again go to coil sys and then say synth synthesis type the name of a template that you want to use for synthesizing the inductor in this case uh, we already have a name that we're going to use that and then choose the cell name and click OK it specifies um, the coil synthesis parameters that you got to enter enter the values and then when you click OK it validates and says that the model exists in the EM model that we simulated before it automatically creates this uh, test bench and it sweeps the different values that you entered in the synthesis dialog box and once we run the simulation it calculates the inductance resistance and q factor for all the combination of parameters that we used while generating the EM model once we synthesize this inductor then we can find a particular inductor and its value from the EM model so en enter the parameters of the inductance and then the template the synthesis template that we used the last step 
So here enter all the desired values for the inductance, quality factor, frequency, and then the percentage of tolerance for each of these three parameters. And then as you type them, you will see that the list is being filtered automatically. So this set of inductance are the ones that meet your requirement. You can choose a particular inductor that might be of uh, interest and then say um, create an inductor, give a name for the inductor. And now you have 1.5 nano Henry inductor that you can use in your design. And once you package the library, then others can use it in their design. That concludes the coil system. Of